Hi there. I'm having some wardrobe issues here. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor and I help you break the mold. And Percy and I are here to do a little video about the lies that we tell ourselves. Right, Percy? Are, are you ready? Well, um, let's just put Percy on camera to say hello. So this is, this is Percy, and Percy is a kitty that has very low self-esteem. He was abandoned, and um, he's had a few rides in wheel wells in vehicles, haven't you, darling? Uh, he's a, he is a miracle kitty. He comes from Georgia. He's, he's a sweetest, sweet little boy, and he's got little rabbit feet. I'm going to show you his feet. His, his, his hind feet are like, <laughs> he's got feet like a rabbit. <laughs> okay, so, um, excuse me just one second while I share this, and um, welcome. Hang on one second here. So we're going to be talking about lies, not the lies that other people tell us. Nope. No, we do enough of this on our own. Hang on a second. So, uh, I'd love it if you could share. This would be great. All right, another thing here. Okay. All right. So I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor. I am the founder of Love Yourself Fearlessly. I'm also the founder of JenniferElizabethMasters.com. And I'm a best-selling author. I've written several books. I have a couple of more in the works, ready to go, um, that are just waiting for some deep editing. Um, the reason I am doing this video is it has come to my consciousness. And I do remember when I used to do this, we tell ourselves stories. And the stories we tell ourselves are not sweet little lullaby type bedtime stories. They're the type of stories that, that might even give us nightmares. <laughs> so I just wanted to kind of talk about some of the things that we, we tell ourselves. We tell ourselves we're too old. I, and I'm just going to use it as, as if it's me saying these things. I am too old. I'm too fat. This will never happen. It will never work. I should have known better. I should be further ahead than I am right now. Um, I shouldn't have said that to him. Um, I shouldn't have slept with him. Um, why did I say no to my husband for sex when I really wanted to? Um, why am I, um, you know, why am I not successful? Why am I not making more money? Why? Why is it that I have money and I'm so unhappy? Or, um, you know, this, is, this isn't working for me. I want to leave here. I, I want to go home. I, I am not happy with my life. My life should be better. Why isn't it better? I am unhappy. I mean, all these things <laughs> we tell ourselves. And the thing is, what's going on here? What's really happening? Just take a moment, tap in, breathe in here. Let's just tap into our hearts here. Take a deep breath. So are any of those things that we said or were thinking, are they true? Are, are any of them true? Or are these just stories that you're 
ego mind is creating. Are they real? They feel real, but are they? You know, 95% of the thoughts that we think, we are unaware of. So only 5% of what we think, we are conscious of. The rest of it is going on. We're going to crazy town. <laughs> and, and those thoughts could be absolutely insane thoughts, things that will never happen, things that we worry about. And there's a way to shift our thoughts. And the fastest way, what's happening when we're complaining, we're, we're not in gratitude. Somebody's growling in my house here. <laughs> we're not in gratitude. So the fastest way to shift our thoughts when we're complaining is to look around and go, you know, this place is pretty nice. It's perfect for me. I can easily afford it. I can pay for my rent on time. It's perfect for my animals. I can clean it quickly. I'm so grateful for this place. I'm so grateful for my health. I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful that I'm alive another day. So what we're doing when we start looking at the gratitude piece, so what we're doing is we are shifting, returning. The problem still could be there. We may still have issues that, that we haven't dealt with. But we'll put those behind and we'll focus on what it is that's wonderful. So when we're focusing on what's wonderful, it starts to get even better. It starts to maybe glow a little. You know, maybe our health improves. Maybe our finances improve. When we start to be grateful for this that's in our hands already, instead of focusing on what isn't there. You know, maybe our guy's not taking out the trash regularly, or, you know, the car isn't brand new, or, or, you know, geez, I, I, I haven't bought any new clothes in a month. Or, you know, whatever it is that we're complaining about. What complaining does is it just makes the problem bigger. It doesn't make it smaller. It doesn't make it go away. And I had somebody ask me today, what is that one thing that you want to vent about? And I said, you know what? I don't vent anymore. And is that true? Yes, it is true. I might ask questions. I might sit with something, but I'm not venting. Because why? Because venting doesn't make us feel better. All it does is take us down a rabbit hole. It's like, it's like somebody asked me today about something going on in the news that was not pleasant. And I had to do a Google research to find it because it wasn't something that was available to me. It was not in my, it wasn't in my peripheral vision. I wasn't even focusing on it. But when I read it, it took me down this rabbit hole into a place I don't want to be in. So why focus on the things that don't make us feel good? Why focus on the things that are an, a, a pain in the tuchus? Why focus on the things that aren't going well? They're still going to be there. But instead, wow, you know what? My car is still running. You know what? It's got 200,000 miles on it. And yes, it is still running. It is a great little car. I have great mileage with that vehicle. My dog can get in and out of it. It's, it's a great car. And it's paid for. Yay! So you, you focus on the good. And that other stuff, the pain that took his stuff, is still back there. But you're not making it bigger. You're not making it grander. You're not making it that castle with the ice cream on top of it. Well, maybe not ice cream. But you're not making the problem larger. So that's what happens when we focus on something, whatever it is we put our attention on and focus on, we're giving energy to. So, you know, okay, I've got this little, this little grassy plant here. And if I decided to ignore it, if I ignored this thing, it's going to wither and die because I'm ignoring it. I'm not watering it. I'm not focusing on it. It's going to wither and die, get smaller, 
But if I give attention to it, if I keep focusing on it and I water it and I nurture it, it's going to grow, right? So do we want our problems to grow? We don't. So how about getting up in the morning before your eyes are even open? Thank you, whoever you pray to. Thank you, God, for this day of life. Thank you for another day that I can do over. Thank you. I have another chance to have great conversations. I have another chance to make some money. I have another chance to have uh, great connections with people. Thank you. I have another day of life. So that's number one. And thank you for this body. Thank you for my vibrant health. Thank you for my children, my family, my mother, my father, my brothers and sisters. Thank you. Thank you for the beauty around me that I have water to drink and food on the table. So do you see what I'm doing? I'm focusing on the good. And that gets bigger. And we feel what? Do we feel worse when we focus on the good? No. It takes us up in this upward, onward, and upward spiral as opposed to down a rabbit hole of negativity which is what happens when we are in this poor, pitiful me story. Nobody loves me. Nobody's coming to visit me. Uh, my son's not speaking to me. My uh, daughter uh, owes me money. Uh, whatever the deal is, <laughs> you know, you can focus on all those things. Do they make you feel better? No. So... I am enough. I do good work. I celebrate my success. So that's the other thing, is that when you have a success, do you celebrate it? When you hit a milestone, when you reach a goal, do you celebrate? Or do you just go, eh? Because we need to celebrate the good times. We need to celebrate the milestones, the, the graduations. You know, when our kids graduate, we celebrate, right? And that's what we need to do. When we have milestones, when we reach our goals, we need to celebrate. You, you got that promotion. You, you made that goal. Yay! Do something. Buy yourself a, a, a nice dinner out. Take your friends out to dinner or, or your, your kids. But do something nice to celebrate that goal being achieved. Okay, there's a couple of other things that you can do by focusing on. Instead of focusing on what you don't have, um, instead of saying, I'm too old, I'm too fat, how about, it's never too late. It is never too late. There's always time for me. There's plenty of time in the universe. The man who made time made lots of it. I will get there. I'm doing it one day at a time. I'm putting one foot in front of the other. I am doing the best that I can. How about that? I am worthy. I am deserving. I do love myself. I love me. I'm doing the best I can with what I came with. I've worked really hard. I'm making little baby steps towards my goal. And eventually I will get there. So it's really important. Here we are at the end of the year, 2018, coming to a close. Yay. And what goals did you reach? Did you, did you write a list of your goals? What goals did you reach? Write them down. Celebrate the goals. Celebrate those milestones. Talk to yourself in a good way. Give yourself that raw, raw pitch. Boy, you know, for, for a whatever, 30-something, a 40-something, a 50-something, a 60-something, a 70-something person, you know, I, I've really got it going on. I'm doing really well at life. And boy, have I turned my life around. You know, I'm, I'm more positive than I used to be. I, I can turn my focus on a dime. I can find something to be grateful for, you know, if I just take a breath. And when I'm grateful, I feel so much better. So those lies that we tell ourselves, you know, that there isn't enough time, we should have known better, 
um, I'm not smart enough, um, I don't have the education, I don't know how to do this. When we take our focus off those things and we focus on, remember, focus on the good, focus on what we do have, that grows. So wherever we give our attention, it grows. And here's the other thing about gratitude, that once we begin to express gratitude for this, for what we do have, this in front of us, we will receive more. So that bitching and moaning, you know, complaining about the, the guy that never takes the trash out or, or your neighbor's dog that barks or, you know, the, the, the turkey across the street that keeps parking in your parking spot. When you focus on those things, you make those grow. So instead, put it behind you. Don't focus on that stuff. Focus on the good, and you'll find the good will become greater and more good will be given to you. I'm Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. I love you. Much love. Mwah.